Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Ch 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 channel. Okay, listen. Are you a student? Are you university? Do you want to make money? Do you want to have fun? Then this is the video for you. Okay, four questions. Are you a university student? Do you want to make money? Are you looking for a part-time job? Do you want to have fun while you at it? If you answered yes to any of these questions, this video is for you. In this video, I'll be talking about how you get to do promotional work part-time, get paid, what types of promo work is available, what you stand to gain with it. So I've been doing promotional work for the past three, four years in Cape Town, and I've made a lot of money, attended the coolest events in the city, and made the coolest friends ever. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned. I am Wule Tugunama. Very warm welcome to my channel. Special shout out to all the people in my subscriber family. Thank you so much for subscribing. And we are past 200 now. So I'm really, really excited for the growth of this channel. And if you're not part of this family yet, it's easy. Just subscribe down below. Give this video a big thumbs up so it's absolutely free and you won't be missing out on new content on my channel. Let's get straight into it. So promo work, right? I have been doing this for the past three years in Cape Town. I realized that, you know what, when you get to university, there are a lot of expenses that come up. You need to probably add money to your meals. You need to do hobbies. You need to travel around. You need to spend time with friends. You need to explore whichever city you're in. A lot of these things really do come up. And sometimes you really don't have the money for it. Situation at home is not that great. You don't have funding, there's no bursary, so you gotta hustle and start making your own money. And that was my platform, and that's why I started doing promotional work. And this is where I am now, and I have such great feedback to give on that. Promo work, what types of promo work is available? So there's in-store, there's events, there's club, there's corporate, there's parties, and there's office. So with in-store, there's people you've seen at Pick and Pay, ShopRite, Checkers, Supermarkets, or any other fashion stores, clothing stores, they're promoting a product, asking you to taste it or maybe buy it, giving you different options available of the product. So either at the door as well or handing out pamphlets. So this is a lot of the in-store promotion. My very first job as a promoter was actually in-store and it was at Fashini. I was promoting a Paco Rabanne perfume. So literally when I got home, I was drenched in that smell because I've been spraying it on people all day, asking them to try it out, encouraging them to buy it. So it is a lot of work because you're standing on your feet all day and you have a lunch that's about an hour. Obviously, depending on the job, I was working about four hours for that job and it was two days and they were paying me 40 rand an hour. Oh, guys, but then, I mean, that was still the beginning. I didn't know what I was doing or what's available. So now I want to work for 40 rand an hour. Um, but, you know, we all got to start somewhere. And I still had to buy pumps. I didn't have pumps and I didn't know that I needed pumps for the job. So when I got to the mall, I bought pumps and I'm like, I'm spending and I'm trying to make money. I know, I mean, that's what you got to do to make money. But still, I'm getting paid 40 bucks. How much more money can I be spending from this? You know, but anyway, that's fine. There's that available. And then there's club. So club work, you're either promoting alcohol, cigarettes or a hostess at the door of a club. And you're walking around asking people to try it out or buy it. Or when people buy a specific product, you take it to their music crackers and things, making it a whole fun, whole hard thing. And um, they pay well, actually, because you're working at night and you're working in a club. So the, usually the rates are about 200 rand upwards per hour. And you work about four hours plus. So that's some good money to make. I personally don't really like club work because I don't like wearing short stuff and then men having to pass comments because obviously if you're doing promo work like there's a lot of attention towards you so i'd rather not but i mean if you're cool with that and you know how to handle it and yeah also men just do better please uh we're trying to make money we're trying to work here yeah. cool so events events are my absolute favorite i've been working most of my jobs have been actually events i've attended the coolest stuff so i've attended the Vuv Clico, i've attended the pink polo and I've been to a few festivals in Cape Town and some lacquer corporate events where you get to eat some good food. And yeah, so that's stuff I really enjoy. You get to meet a lot of celebrities, see what's popping in the industry, get to have fun while you're at it. And you get to go to all these events where people pay thousands for, thousands for absolutely free. So it's literally free entrance. And all you're doing is probably working at the reception desk where you're giving people maybe their tickets or their wristbands 
and welcoming them into the whole event whatever is happening there or maybe welcoming them at the door or serving drinks or walking around the chocolates as i was doing for the with coco job so it was really a lot of fun i really enjoyed those events and they pay well 150 plus per hour sometimes 170 they can be nice and go up to 200 rand an hour as well so that's some pretty cool stuff to do i really enjoyed that a lot so i'm a bit biased don't blame me but there's also office work so companies will probably need people to do like some of the admin um maybe pack gifts maybe it's towards the end of the year and they're doing gifts for clients maybe they need you to help with that those pay about 100 rand an hour depending on the agency of course and yeah so that's some cool stuff that you can do and it also helps guys when you live in the in a city and you don't have to travel far so you don't pay a lot on transport otherwise if you're working with a, with a group of people then you guys can always carpool and put money together so that you're not spending too much while you're trying to make this money you know so how do you start how do you actually start working as a promoter cool google google is your baby as i always say google is your friend google is your baby you google agencies available in your city so you're either in cape town johannesburg bloemfontein durban whichever city you're in some of the small towns not all of them a big really definitely not so we're not having those opportunities here back home so that's why i gotta be in the city to chase that goal to chase that paper so with those yeah you just google make sure that you apply to a lot of agencies so unlike the modeling agencies you can apply to a whole lot of them and work with all of them that means you're making a whole lot of money so that's how people actually get to make a lot of money with promotional work make sure that you're not signed with one agency make sure that you sign with a lot of them they offer different jobs with different clients different rates so you make sure that you are exposed and you have options apply to all of them in cape town they call them promo hoes guys you're trying to make money excuse my french but yeah so that's what they call them they're people with like more than 20 agencies at the time so but those people make money and some people are actually doing promotional work full-time because they're unemployed well now they're employed because they're doing promotional work i don't know if it counts as employment but anyway they're making money that's the point i'm trying to make okay money is money and i'm probably saying this now because i also started at the bottom and then i got to know different types of work and what works for me and which money i'm willing to accept and what i'm not you know willing to compromise on when it comes to promotional work so you also get your vibes so in the beginning maybe you'll start working the not so glamorous jobs and then afterwards you realize okay this is what I like this is what works for me this is what works with my studies of course because priorities the requirements with the agencies aren't really that much they just want pictures of you they want some measurements sometimes maybe they'd say they're going to give you clothing so they're not as finicky like the modeling agencies where like they want tall skinny girls some of them are like that but most of them aren't and you know it's quite a variation of people have different body size different shades different hair i mean i know a lot of people that i work with have long hair or have weaves and i'm just like y'all i got a fro but i haven't been rejected for a job because of that i think sometimes i actually have an advantage because of that so keep that in mind payments so how do you make money so i've mentioned how a lot of them pay and it, it really really differs from the type of job you're doing the agency you're with or the client that's offering that job so as i said sign up with a lot of agencies so that you have options sign up sign up sign up sign up and obviously just make sure that you're balancing this with your schoolwork it can be time consuming because sometimes you come back and you're tired and you're not in the mood to study because you've been working all day let's talk about clothing right very important you'll always need a pair of black pants a black shirt and a blazer with comfortable black heels you'll use these a lot so they come in very handy make sure you have these probably do already in your wardrobe or a black dress black skirt black top these also you use a lot and then more importantly right now you'll need a black pencil skirt white collar shirt and a comfortable black heel so a lot of the events will need the past three outfits that i've spoken about now so definitely something to invest in and make sure that you have in this event you'll see that we brought our own um, matching white denims and then they give us all the same tops so that's for the pink polo and then another corporate event we worked in we bought our own blue denims and they give us different colored tops and sometimes you get the whole outfit provided these were stunning black dresses we wore at the Borka film festival and this is another exciting event where they provided all the clothes for us just wearing your own shoes
payments how do payments work so the lovely thing about promotional work you get paid on the day or within seven days that's how most companies work and that is absolutely amazing let's say you need quick financial relief you need to make money quick fast and they pay they pay they're usually very reliable i have never had a payment problem and it's really like some good money that you get to get quick fast without sweating too hard and they're quite reliable so i'll give them a thumbs up for that the rates vary depending on the type of job you're doing the type of agency and the type of client that you're working with so i've given a few ranges over the past um few conversations that we've had now but that's essentially the range that they go for so you can sign up with a few of them and then find out how it goes i mean one of the jobs that i worked for i worked for two hours for a job and I made a lot of money, but that was also because I was shooting. So this wasn't really promotional work, but this job came, came through a promotional agency where I got to shoot for Adidas and it was for in-store and social media stuff. So they paid me quite a lot of money and I was just like, is this still promo work? But then I was like, ah, oh, it's a shoot. So it's obviously going to, they're going to pay me for usage as well. So that was pretty cool. So make sure that you sign up with agencies because you don't know what type of jobs they have available, you know, and they're not as finicky as modeling agencies when it comes to a lot of the jobs. I mean, some of them will say we just want tall, skinny girls uh, with flat stomachs, stomachs, what are stomachs? <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, there's some agencies that are like that. But you just have to go for all of them and then see which one works for you. Benefits. I think what I've benefited from these agencies and just doing promo work in the past few years. I've made a lot of friends. Like you meet really cool people because it's peers. People were also just hustling, trying to make money, trying to have fun and do something on the side, outside of school, outside of work. If you're working already or people who aren't working and this is what they're doing full time. And some people make a lot of money because this is all they're doing every single day. And if you're with like 50 agencies, then my goodness, you're making a lot of money you know so you make a lot of friends i've gotten a lot of freebies you know it doesn't happen often i must say this game it doesn't happen often but when you do it's really nice i'm going these nice tall thin champagne glasses from one of the booker film festivals i've worked in uh sometimes they give you extra cash because they're very impressed with the work that you're doing so you're like mm, this is above my rate that i asked for but i'm very grateful very very grateful very very grateful no i can't sing um and then yeah those are the payments that's how they work and those are the benefits so do you have any questions for me regarding promotional work regarding making money doing promo work let me know if you have any questions put them in the comments down below give this video a big thumbs up i really hope it was helpful and i'll to see you next time so in order for me to do that please hit the subscribe button down below truly i appreciate you stay safe and keep well cheers